Hi, I'm Dr. Janet Pope here at Room Now at the ACR 2020 virtual meeting or convergence meeting. There's a lot going on. There's been a lot of excitement on the posters and on the talks. What I'd like to talk about today is whether or not we think that methotrexate increases skin cancer in our patients, such as in rheumatoid arthritis, and also whether we should do skin exams. So on abstract 1001, there's a nice study looking at, from a great big billing database, Medicare, looking at people receiving methotrexate or hydroxychloroquine. And what they did was they looked at the incidence of both non-melanoma skin cancer or NMSC or melanoma skin cancers. And reassuringly with a very large N, they found no difference in the rate of skin cancers. And that was looking overall, looking at the two subsets, looking also for those who got eye examinations because of course, more eye exams would be scheduled for hydroxychloroquine and things like melanoma and the retina are very rare, but something that could be picked up. So the bottom line, there was no difference. So what is my take home? There have been people suggesting that all our patients on biologicals and maybe also CSD marts such as methotrexate should have skin exams. Number one, I'm not against a skin exam. I think it's important in high risk patients. They're fair, they had lots of sunburns, they've already had a skin cancer. But number two, I don't think we need to spend the dermatologist time for every one of my RA patients as a, for instance, on either a BDMARD or on uh, an advanced therapy or even on methotrexate. I think skin cancer is very common. Most patients see that it's there. And when we examine our patients, we should look. So number one, methotrexate, at least in this study, doesn't increase skin cancers. Number two, I don't think a skin exam annually in every patient is needed. Thank you. Please follow us at Room Now. And my Twitter handle is at Janet Burdope. Thank you.